Okay, guys, listen up, please. Listen up. Uh, now, look, 4-1 down after the first leg is obviously not great. But that just means we get to get out there now and show them absolutely no respect. That's right, Palumbo. None. Even less than I show Skoko. You got that, Noah, you piece of crap? Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to your run on the Impossible Dream. Today, we really do face the impossible. 4-1 down against RB Leipzig. They smacked us around at their home ground, but we're back in your run now. Let's see if we can turn things around. It's going to be tough, but you never know. Uh, and then we'll either have the we'll have the first leg of the, of the playoff round, whether it be an unlikely Champions League playoff, or more likely, a Europa League playoff against the opposition that we'll find out um, more midway through the episode, really. Now, there's not too much to catch you up on other than one game, which we'll get to in just a minute. Uh, that was a league game, of course, but there's a little bit of transfer activity to catch you up on. Nothing too major, but just to keep you up to date on how uh, how our academy players and youngsters are developing, we have sent uh, Dado Ruka Vina off to our third tier affiliate side, who I can't pronounce. Hopefully, he's going to play there and uh, and develop. There's an okay player there. I don't think there's ever going to be a player for us, but I'd like to give him a chance to develop as much as possible, if for no other reason than so we get a bigger transfer fee for him, to be honest. The other one that's been sent out, uh, now this is to a Slovenian top flight side, is uh, Blazanko Masek, one of our young centre-backs. We've sent him out there on loan as a center back. I think previously he'd gone away on loan and play. He was playing as a left back. So I've specified he must play as a center back. And uh, there's a little bit of potential there. There's a little bit to like about him, but there's probably more not to like about him. So at 18, he needs to go away. He needs to have a good loan and uh, we'll reassess when he comes back. I suspect he might be one to sell rather than keep. But again, we'll give him as much time as we can to develop and see what uh, what he's going to become. So, yeah, no, nothing major, but just a couple of youngsters that have gone out on loan there. So, yeah, 442 is what we're expecting from them. They are currently, uh, where are they in Bundesliga? They're 14th in the Bundesliga? They can't, oh, they haven't started yet. I was going to say, there's no way that they're 14th in the Bundesliga side. Uh, so, Bosniak is still injured, so that doesn't help our cause. So I guess all Markic can come in and play, um, which again isn't maybe ideal, but uh, needs must. So Ayasa will be in goal. Williams and Tosic will be the back two. Due and Della Vibora will be the the wit. Sit hole. All Markic and Palumbo in midfield. Skoko, your piece of crap. <laughs> he's actually he's actually tied. Um, Oh, just let him play uh, with Matanovic and Vizenton. Uh, and of course, before we get to this, we've got to do the game in the league, don't we? It was Hajduk split. So let's go and do that now. We fell behind late on after giving away possession. But we're quickly level through Akbazli. Before Antwi crossed for Fillet to win it deep into stoppage time. So a game that we definitely deserve to win. We had a ball in the back of the net twice ruled outside for offside. Now both really narrow, like really tight offside calls as well, which doesn't make it wrong. Um, but it's just a little bit, a little bit of bad luck. But yeah, uh, Phillip popped up late, uh, late on there for us and won it. He actually came off the bench, as did the guy that crossed the ball in and gave the ball away. He's one of our uh, backup players that's sort of filling in left back for us right now. And uh, yeah. Really, really good result against uh, a Hushuk side that's been honest, are struggling. But uh, we'll catch you up more on the league table after the next game, because uh, we'll have a game between today's episodes. For now, let's get back to uh, RB Leipzig. And we can see the team sheets there. Uh, there's one or two different names. It doesn't look as though, unfortunately for us, that they have <laughs> they've taken us slightly here. I was hoping maybe they would do. Uh, let's show what we're capable of. I can get on board with that. I think the issue we have here is that if they've not started their league season yet, they've got no re no need to rest players, do they? So that that definitely hurts us, I think. So uh, yeah, we're used to bottling second legs and uh, seemingly losing the impossible. Can we do it the other way this time? Can we come back from the dead in the second leg and uh, and spring a surprise? Our only real hope, let's face it, our only real hope is if they are, uh, they're complacent and sort of take us for granted. But yeah, you just struggle to see them doing that, really, don't you? Um, now, we did get an offer for Sit Hole in from, uh, speaking of German clubs, from Nuremberg. Uh, it was under his release fee. He does have a release fee right now of, I think it's 
4.5 million, something along those lines. So it was it was well below that. It was under 3 million. So I mean, we rejected it anyway. But uh, so, but he didn't kick off, which is good. So uh, it does show at least that he's willing to to stay here uh, and not jump at the first offers that come in. And to be honest, we could always say to him anyway, you've got a release fee. If someone triggers it, you can go. Uh, and he would probably have a hard time arguing against that, I would have thought. But Sithole is one of the players I think we want to... Uh, him and Tostich, I think, are the two uh, in this current team that we want to stick around as long as possible. Um, or outside of academy players. But uh, yeah, I think they're the two that we want to stick around as long as possible because I dare say um, if they develop as they should, they're going to be very big parts of what we do here. And oh, Yasa makes the save. He was just offside. Um, so yeah, we'll see. The transfer window is still open. Uh, there's no real bids in right now. Hamache, the left wing back, is uh, should be back to fitness uh, within a week. So that will sort of solve that left back problem. And to be honest, uh, the oh, I forget his name now, but the young winger that we've been playing out there has done okay, and that is through a crowd and through Ayasa. And it is now 5-1 on aggregate. And we really needed to score first in this one, didn't we? We probably needed to already have scored, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, they are just... Skoko did well initially. The first time pass, I mean, it was just a good uh, just a good pass, wasn't it? A good play. We couldn't really... It was too quick for us is what it was. We'll try a demand more. But, um, yeah, we might even... I probably should have put some more young players on the bench, actually, and to look at potentially giving them some game time. Uh, uh, they're... Just a little bit too good for us, aren't they? It is now 2 now. What we don't want to do, and it's, a, it's probably a bit late now, we've already done it, <laughs> is uh, fall in a heap and get absolutely spanked. Now, 6-1 over two legs is not great. Maybe it's just about acceptable, you know, an average of 3-1 and 3-0. That's still not great. But what, what I said, what we don't need is this getting up to the sort of score that we, we run up on sides that we play that aren't quite good enough to uh, to face us. So I think this is probably a little bit of a reality check for us as well as to exactly how far we do still have to come. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we shouldn't be expecting to... Oh, we're, not, we're not defending well in wide areas, are we? Okay, so we'll have a bit of a rethink about this. Let's maybe try and trap people inside. Um... I wonder if, as well, actually, we want we'll try lowering down the tempo, and maybe getting rid of of all of this sort of stuff. Uh, that's more or less how we were playing in the first leg when we uh, came back a little bit. Are we still on a highlight here? What's going on? Why are we in slow motion? And uh, I feel like we've gone. Have we gone to full game highlights here? Is that what's happened? It is what's happened. All right. Well, this is going very, very well indeed. Uh, that's what happens when you don't pause the game, I guess, when you're making changes. We've got more defending to do here from a corner, and it is just about away. Ormark each goes across. Ormark is another one. I think before the window uh, closes, I might try and loan him out somewhere. Um, it depends a little bit. I don't, what I don't want to do is leave a short in midfield. He has done okay previously. I mean, this is, I think, a bit of a step up for everybody as... To... <laughs> For Bore, just gets made look a little bit silly there. Ball to the back post, and uh, we get saved by the back post. So yeah, I probably don't need to judge players too much on this particular game because uh, of fixture or tie or whatever the word is, because uh, you know they are a little bit too good for us. Palumbo with a corner. Can we get one back before half tie? Oh, we can, and it is Matanovic. So it's 3-1 on the night. 7 to the great comeback is on. We just need five second half goals now and we'll be uh, we'll be level. Good header from Matanovic, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, well, there we go. It is 7-2. Um, so we will say, yeah, sorted out. I mean, maybe... I did say, I think, in the first leg, didn't I, that they were terrible sorted out and second leg was much better. Now, Skoko was tired. He didn't really have a 90-minute game inning, so we'll bring Lovric on. Uh, give him some game time here. But yeah, I, I do wonder a little bit if... Uh, yeah, if maybe, say, uh, like, team talks were wrong, and that's why we haven't maybe done ourselves... I mean, with I say that. They had four shots in the first leg, six shots in this one, and they've scored seven goals from ten shots. So, 
Ayas is not having a bad game here. I mean, it does I think maybe they've just been clinical in front of goal. Um, one thing that we know that we struggle with is uh, is turning possession into chances, never mind goals. So um, maybe when oh, it's not a good pass, Tosic. Maybe we're not quite as far away as as we see. Maybe it's it is just down to either the players we have getting a little bit better creativity creativity wise. Or uh, we just need that, oh, we just need those one or two, you know, sort of more creative players to, to really make the chances for us. Um, but it is now 4-1, which is uh, what it was in the first leg, of course. And we're early in the second half here. Williams, yeah, Dewey just couldn't quite get back. Let's try a berating. I mean, it doesn't help that they're, they're playing well. We needed them to have an off day, and uh, they appear to be having a good one. As there's a ball to the back post, Williams has it, and uh, just ends up keeping possession, which is probably the best thing to do. For your ball, oh, 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 I tell you what, that should be that should be eight all with that goal. That's uh, at least worth four or five goals. That one, Della Vibora. It's not his first goal for the club, but it's one we're going to remember. That's for sure. Look at this, Ondo is uh, is he on his left or right? There may have taken a deflection. In fact. So, um, yeah, maybe not quite as good from behind the goals it looked uh, from where we were initially. But still a very, very good goal. And it is now 4-2 on the night. Uh, Visentin is not having a great game. He's tired. We had the promise in football, which never helps because then they end up getting tired because you play them more trying to keep the promise. As Olmo tries to come back to his, uh, I'm not sure if he's, I think he was, he came, he was from Dynamo, wasn't he? So he's probably coming back home to his, uh, to his hometown. He'll probably be uh, wanting to put on a display, unfortunately, which <laughs> doesn't bode well for us. But uh, we get the corner away. And now we've got a little bit more work to do defensively here. And we have just about managed to do it as Ayasa tips it over the bar. Tosic and Douay are having not their greatest games. Do we bring Antwi on for... Is that okay? That was okay. For Douay maybe on a booking as well. Uh, or well, let's get Dekic on. Dekic is already sort of more integrated into the team. They're like the anti us 10 shots, 10 on target. Like, what have I got to do to get that sort of a uh, conversion rate from us? Nice ball there from Ormarkic, and then Matanovic has just given it away. It's like he didn't know whether to pass it to Fillet or Palumbo and just put it perfectly in between them. But we've won it back. Lovrich now. Lovrich gets it wide for Dekic. We know Dekic has got a bit of pace. Can he get a cross in? Dekic has done well. Ball's in, and it is Matanovic getting his fifth of the season. It is 4-3 now on the night. 8-4 in aggregate, and it might not be done yet. <laughs> But it would be nice. It's it's a it's a good game, isn't it? You know, on the night, it's a good game. Um, it would be nice if we could get uh, could get level, maybe not lose. You know, not lose the game at home. That would be yeah, that would be a nice thing for us, I think. Uh, and really, you know, from where we were, it's it's all we could realistically ask is to not not lose on the night. But I mean, XG suggests they have been far far better than us. They didn't have a penalty, did they? No. But again, you know, doing a good job in terms of possession. I wonder if we need to shoot on target a bit more. Uh, shoot on side, I should say. I just haven't quite unlocked. And maybe it's uh, maybe it's sort of just uh, the game more so than the team. But I haven't quite managed to figure out how to turn possession into chances quite yet. Fill it. I mean, maybe it's just a matter of telling them at half time that they're rubbish and get their act together and then we do okay in the second half maybe that's what the problem is i just need to degrade them more just talk to them all like i talked to skoko here we go with dekic now dekic just dribbles into trouble and uh this is a very big trouble now can tosic get back he can't he does enough and it goes over the top can we get an equalizing goal on the night that's uh, pretty much all we've got left to play for here and uh, with the clock ticking down, it's looking increasingly unlikely. Unfortunately, this is where our Champions League run is going to come to an end. So Europa League is where we'll be trying to play our European football. There's a nice ball for Dekic. Dekic cuts in again. Dekic on his left foot. 
does that a little bit too often, I think, Dekic. It's one of those where if, if, if it comes off and he scores, he looks brilliant, and you say, well done, what a goal. But if it doesn't come off, then it's just head in hands, and like, what are you thinking? But anyway. 4-3, that's a, that's a decent effort, isn't it? It's a decent effort. We've lost 8-4 uh, on aggregate if we ever finish this game. There we go. And... Um, It'll be interesting to see how, how RB Leipzig go on and do in the Champions. I'm assuming they'll they'll go on and make it from here. But it'll be interesting to see how they do. And exactly, you know, maybe they are just a very good side and we're not quite as bad as that made us look. So there we go. Champions League comes to an end way, way earlier than we would have wanted. We never really got a big payday out of it either, did we? So it means we will be playing in the Europa League playoff uh, game next. I don't know who it's against as of yet. Can we find out maybe? So the draw for this is going to be, uh, it's going to be in about five days time. So uh, we'll come back for the draw. And um, yeah, I mean, there shouldn't be too much for us to fear in the Europa League, should there? Certainly not in qualifying anyway. All right, now welcome back. Now we've got some good news. First of all, is that we're already in the Europa League. We don't have to go to the playoff. I didn't realize that. Should have checked the rules. So we don't have a, uh, a playoff draw or anything like that for you. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll play Rijeka in the league. Uh, and then we'll at the end of the episode, uh, we'll have the draw for the for the Europa League. And then we can plan things from there. Now, no more good news. Sithole has signed a contract extension, his third since he joined us about a year ago. But crucially... No release fee now. So we've got him where we want him. Uh, Long-term deal, five years, no release fee. Yes, he's on a big wage, but I think we can all agree that given Sid Hole is definitely, and still only 20, and room to improve, definitely worth that uh, that money. So that is good. We've also made a signing. Now, this is him here. It's uh, Zarko Pavasevic. We've signed him from this team. Uh, they're Serbian. He's Serbian. He's 21 years old. We've signed him for a quarter of a million with the potential to go up to 800,000, which will never happen because it's 50 games, 50 goals for each of the, the add-ons. He's here as a regular starter, which is probably a lie uh, and just under six grand a week. Let's have a look at him. He is a striker. Now, we know that we've got a lot of good young strikers at the club, although less now, but we've got them out on loan. My plan for this guy right now is basically to sell him on. We got him at a really good fee. I don't know why he was so cheap, but uh, I had a sneaky bid for him and it came off. So he's useful. He is definitely useful. He's got good, uh, well, pacey anyway, maybe not uh, so much uh, in the air. But uh, he's got all the sort of the key uh, teamwork, work rate, off the ball movements, not bad, composure, anticipation. So there's a, there's a lot of the key attributes there. And like I say, the plan for him is basically to fatten him up this season and then next summer try and sell him on already. If we were to sell him on now, we'd be looking at tripling our money, uh, quadrupling our money even. So that's why we've signed him. He's not going to be here for a long time unless he sets the world on fire. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be one of these. It's a little bit like Damjanic in a way. Just knock my knuckles off my book there. Um, but just try and 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 make a smart sign. A bit of a like a Harry Redknapp, you know, buy him to sell him kind of thing. So I don't know why I said Harry Redknapp. Did he used to do that? He just found players for bargains and Anyway, Dad, we're getting sidetracked. There's one game to catch you up on. We had Varison in the league, so let's go and do this while I was waiting to figure out that there wasn't a Europa League draw. We took a first half lead thanks to Brendick. But Varison pulled level early in the second half. Before Dekic, Brendick and Palumbo hit them on the break to restore our lead. Only for Varison to be level again in stoppage time. So this was dropped points. I think what may have happened is uh, we played a, a pretty strong side, more or less the European side with no uh, European fixture on the horizon. And I think it just they just got tired at the end. Duway didn't have a good game. We took him off for Dekic, who we saw came on and uh, hit them on the break at the end there. Siraj was poor. Uh, but what basically happened, we gave a debutante to one of our young wingers at left back, which didn't work out for him. Uh, but what happened is I thought I, I changed both wingers at the same time, wingbacks at the same time. I didn't. Uh, we took Matanovic off because I think he had a bruise or something that was affecting his performance. And then basically I didn't have the option of making another sub because these two subs happened at different times. So that was a shame. Uh, the goal, though, from uh, this is him here, Brandiak. Uh, and he's another one that we signed. He was a free transfer, I think. Uh, we're just looking to fatten up the sell on. What a strike it was. And another one that uh, is just looking useful. Yeah, what? Is this a transfer? No, Hajuk went him on loan. Not a chance in the world, guys. Not a chance in the world. Let's have a look at the league table, though. 
And despite uh, dropping points uh, twice now to both Gorica and Barristan, who are both right up there, still not looking too bad. Only three points off Dynamo, and I think we face them relatively soon in the league as well. And uh, look at that, Hajuk, bottom of the league right now. Can you imagine if they go down? That would be, uh, be a bit of a turn up, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's go and face Rijeka. They are, where are they? Seventh right now. And we're expecting a 3-4-3, three, three, I guess we'd call that out of them. This is the team we're sending out. Now, we've had a free week, which is such a luxury for us right now. And uh, so we've been able to do a bit of training as well, which was nice. So we've got Ayester in goal, Tostic and Williams as the back two. Due and Della uh, Vibora. We've also got uh, Hamache back on the bench. We'll get him on the field at some point to start building up match sharpness. Sithole, Bosnia, Kakavenga, Siraj, Akbazli and Visenton. It is more or less our strongest team right now, I would say. And we've got a pretty strong bench sitting here as well. Matanovic, is he still wanted by Dynamo? No, Brest. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Do we recognize any name? A Concesau, but I don't think that's one of the famous ones. Uh, looks like there's an Icelandic player in there as well, but I don't recognize any of our former players. Uh, and we do have a few of them kicking around the league right now. Now, we are at home, so let's uh, home form's important to us. Um, Kakovenga is just back from injury as well. Uh, of course, we saw him get injured. Uh, who was that against? Might have been against the, the uh, Czech side, I think, wasn't it? But uh, that recent form doesn't make for great reading. Now, we did have uh, RB Leipzig twice in there. But you'd like to... Uh, I mean, their recent form doesn't make for great reading either, does it? But yeah, we would like to be getting a few more points on the board, I think, <laughs> than that recent form would suggest. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, we're not sitting too badly. I think... Um, I think the squad is coming together. It always takes a little bit of time at the start of the year because we do have the new signings. And I don't think I'm going to make any more sort of major signings. Um, we'll just kind of see how we go now. Siraj does love a shot from a free kick. And, oh, that's a good one. That's a really, really good one. DDC with his, uh, was it his third of the season. It's an early goal. It's a wonderful free kick, to be honest. It is just, oh, it's stunning. Behind the goal, you really get a sense of how good that was. And it's a perfect start. So, 1-0 up. And uh, I probably should have put the new signing on the on the bench, shouldn't I? He only just came, like, on game day was uh, when we signed him. So, I kind of just forgot he was there, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you think of him. It's the Again, it, it's a signing of opportunity for a cheap fee. Get them in. Like I say, fatten him up and... Uh, and then we'll hopefully sell him on next summer, even sooner. I mean, if a bid comes in even sooner, uh, I'd be more than happy to sell him for a million pounds with a 50% sell-on to any, anybody who wants him, to be honest. And then uh, they can fatten him up even further <laughs> and we'll get 50% of that. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe he comes in and does a really good job and uh, oh, Sid Hull couldn't quite win that back. If you're wondering about Phillip, he's injured. He's out for the next couple of weeks as well as Tosic. That's not a good defensive header. And just like that, Rijeka are level again. And uh, it was just a bit of a poor header. And it's Tosic, who I think we rightfully should expect more from. He's read, it, read the game well and just headed it down instead of up. I think he's probably trying to head it to Bosniak, but he had a man right there on him. It was not, uh, it was not the, not was not wasn't on basically, was it? Here we go, Duay with a with a throw. Bosniak back to Duay. He gets past his man, floats the cross in towards the back post. It's headed away. Della Vabora picks it up. He's going to have a shot. Is he? No. Gets it wide for Duay. Good ball. Duay in front of goal. It's bouncing around. It was Siraj, I think, that had the shot, but it was blocked. And uh, we will continue. They are dominating possession. Well, how are they doing that? And why are they doing that? Perhaps more to the point. Uh, here we go. Kakavenga to Vabora. Nice early ball in. It's headed away. Duay picks it up, though. In there for Kakavenga. We know he loves a shot from the edge of the area. And just, just can't quite keep it down. Uh, why are they dominating possession so much? Let's try lowering our tempo down. I always forget to actually change that, I think. See if we can get out a little bit of control of the game. Especially at home as well. We're usually so good in possession. Um, but perhaps they've got... I mean, they do have seven men at the back. Perhaps they're just sort of passing it around amongst themselves. And, you know, a possession number is uh, not always as impressive as it looks sometimes. 
And unless we want to sit here and watch a full match highlight, we, we're not going to know, basically. Siraj to Bosniak. This is nice. Good ball for Due on the overlap. Can we find Visentin in the middle? He goes himself. He probably had to. Draws a very nice save out of the goalkeeper. And we'll have a corner now, Siraj, to take. Look at everybody lining up at the back post. It is uh, Williams back into the middle, but it is the end of the highlight. I will assume it was claimed by uh, the goalkeeper, perhaps. Now, I wonder, given that they do have a million men in the middle, if perhaps we're better off exploiting the flanks here. We've got a free kick. Kakavenga over it. It's a decent one in. It's still bouncing around in there. Can we get onto it? Not quite. And... Are we going to get done on the break now? Sit hole goes across. Holds up the play nicely. Can we win this back now? Akbarsley, no, not quite. Siraj, no, again, not quite. And uh, they're getting forward now, which is always a little bit nervy, isn't it? Can Dewey get it? No, 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 no. He's unmarked and he's stuck it away. Or has he? Is it offside? Please be offside. We've had so many goals like that to go against us, uh, get ruled out for offside, and of course, of course it's allowed. And we've turned a 1-0 lead into a 2-1 deficit before half-time. And it was onside, wasn't it? Tosic looks a little bit like a headless chicken at times defensively, I've got to say. I think he's... I wonder if he's got a low teamwork stat, because, I mean, look at how far he is behind the rest of his defence. Although... Uh, of a bore at the back post there we can't really see where he is super so, but he would be playing you would imagine he's playing off of Tosic um, that was certainly when I used to play left back what I was always told is uh, make sure you're never behind your center backs uh, but yeah we've got to be better that wasn't particularly good but yeah Tosic looks like a good individual player can we have a look here a good individual player but perhaps no he's got decent teamwork he just uh maybe maybe he's learning the language speaking of learning the language uh williams now speaks croatian and i think visentin as well so that's all that's all going to help in terms of communication we just need everybody to speak the same language as tostic perhaps but um still a half a football to go here plenty of time for us to turn this around siraj it's a nice ball there to find Dewey. can he whip across in he's got past his man again ball in oh and it was a nice header down from visenton but it was maybe a little bit too much down and it gave the goalkeeper a chance to uh sort of catch as a bounce back up again do throw there for up Barsley. nice ball to find kakavenga in the middle now, are we going to find... Oh, Vabor is run. It was just a little too late, wasn't it? He's got down the outside here, though. Cross comes in. It's towards Akbarsley, but clean by the keeper. And are they going to try and go short? It'd be good if you could. Just go short. No, they do go long. We should have uh, the big centre-backs out there to mop it up, but we can't. And, oh, what's Delabora done there? He's just collapsed. And it's all going very, very wrong, it has to be said. Um, yeah, I, I, I am a little bit of loss as to exactly what is uh, what is going wrong here. Uh, let's bring on for Kakavenga. Let's bring Renokia on for him. Um, Fizzenton's not having a great game. We did get a decent tune out of uh, Brendick last time. And the other sub, though we've only got one stoppage left. I wouldn't mind bringing Hamache on if that's just over the top. And Tosic is having a nightmare. So I wonder, given this is our last stoppage, let's get Hamache on for him. Let's get, um, what was I looking at then? Akbarsley. Do we bring on... Matenovic perhaps is a good one to make that change and we should have one more sub left so I think we have to take Tosic off he's not having a good day and that is just about that then um let's try a berating but after you know a really positive start to the league season it has all gone a little bit wrong re uh, more recently so let's just uh let's try raising our tempo up a bit 
Ayasa's having another poor game in goal, which is difficult to explain, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I think we do have Dynamo next in the league. And, um, I mean, that doesn't look like it might go well for us. It's well read there by Douay, though. Can we get a goal back? There's still 20 minutes to go. Plenty of time. If we could get one now, it's definitely game still on. And that is just... Oh, a penalty. Well, this would help. Now, who's going to... Is Palumbo on the field? He's not. I don't know who would take a penalty here. Would it be Matenovic, Renokia, perhaps? It's Hamache. He is good from a set piece, isn't he? Can he get his first Yerun goal? Yes, he can. And uh, I've got to say, I was a little bit nervous about that, given that he's just coming back from uh, injury as well. But introduces himself in style. It's a good penalty into the side netting as well. And it is 3-2. Let's demand more. And let's see if we can go and get level now. Here we go. Triantis over a free kick. Hamachi. Triantis again. Wide for Hamache. Hamache for Bosniak. Bosniak to Siraj. Siraj. Oh, good. That was good because Matanovic had gone offside. Matanovic now. Matanovic just sort of tripped over the ball, it looked like. But we, uh, we've we got it back. Bosniak for Due. For Siraj. Siraj looks up. Gets it wide for Hamache. Hamache for Renokia. Renokia. Renokia can't beat his man. He can now. It's back for Siraj. It's all oh, blocked in front of goal. And we'll have a corner. Renoki yet to take. We've got Williams, Matenovic. They're all at the back post. It is flicked away, is it? Do you want to give another penalty, ref? It's going to be a throw-in. And we enter the last 10 minutes. We've we've definitely we've brought possession back in line. That's uh that's good. We've had more shots. But we are still behind. And suddenly everything has dried up a little bit here, hasn't it? So let's uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. See how that goes for us. Five minutes of stoppage time. Any highlight, just something. So we've got hope. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And uh, we've lost at home. So we are in a, quite the spell of bad form. And that result doesn't do us justice. We've out XG'd them. Not that that matters that much, I suppose. But uh, we probably out XG'd them because we had a penalty, really, haven't we? So, yeah, disappointing, I think, sums that up, doesn't it? And uh, Dynamo of one as well, so that's now a six-point gap. But we're just going to you know, just worry about ourselves and just trying to get back into, into winning ways, really. Recent form doesn't make for great reading. Um, so, yeah, we've got to rebound, don't we? Okay, so before we end the episode, we'll come back for the group stage draw, the league phase draw, whatever it's called, of the uh, Europa League. All right, so we have the draw upcoming here. We've been given just under 3 million for making the Europa League league phase. So 3, 2, 1. How nice are the fixtures? All right, well, a couple of things. We get to go back to Iceland to face Vikingers. So that's something. Uh, they are our pot four side, as are Nantes, which is a bit of a tough pot four side. Um, Boda Glint is away from home. Not the easiest, but as a, as a pot two side, certainly not the worst. Cadiz or Cadiz. I guess it would be, wouldn't it, in Spanish, is uh, away at pot three side Aberdeen. So it's like we have to go back to uh, a couple of the uh, the old possible dream uh, locations here. Feyenoord is a pot one team at home, could certainly be worse. Lille away is going to be a tougher one. Braga at home is probably, do it's not too bad. I would hope, I would hope with these fixtures that we will get ourselves into the, into the knockout rounds. That would certainly be my expectation. So uh, that is that. So that being said, we will be back next time to start Europa League football. Broda Glint and uh, Vikinger, uh, four points at a minimum, I think. From those two would be nice. We've got to get ourselves back on track. We've got Dynamo away, which will be a tough one. Uh, we'll start with uh, Brodo at home. We'll get back on track with them, shall we? And then I'll see you for Europe. Take care.